So I repair a lot of computers and I wanted to show you what is on my USB stick I have right here. You can see right here that it is a 64 gigabyte USB stick by SanDisk. It's a little old, but it's four years old, but I have a lot of things on here where I can pretty much repair all the computers I pretty much need. But before I begin explaining this USB stick, I actually have a very smart way of making videos. So right here, I have new video idea. I just click on it. Then it asks me, enter the video name. Well, that is what is on my USB stick, well, in 2025. I do this, I press enter, and after doing that, I go to recording, and now I have this folder right here. Very amazing. It has a project folder, a description template, and a thumbnail preset. Wherefore, I can easily make the videos. Very smart, right? But yeah, the USB stick. So let me plug it in my system. And right now, let's go to this PC. After plugging it in, you will see all of these things. Well, the only important one is Fantoy. If I open this one right here, Fantoy will allow me to select any of these and install it on the system. I can also read, for example, text files and everything like that. So right here in Optimize Windows, I have this one right here, the Chris Titus tool. If you don't know it yet, if you open this one in PowerShell, by the way, you will see this. So let me open it right here. There you go. With administrator, I just open this one right here, this PowerShell command. After doing this, it first has to connect to Chris Titus, his server, and now we will see a lot of amazing things. This tool is very amazing if you have to optimize your computer and do it pretty fast. So right here, you have a lot of tweaks. You can turn off everything here that's very annoying specifically just disable recall it's very annoying and most important remove microsoft edge OneDrive, and one feature i really like enable and tasks with right click you can see that i don't have it enabled right now so let's do this very amazing run tweaks just like that you just click on it you only need an internet connection it's already running that's what it's saying i double clicked and now you can see right above it's doing all the tweaks it has done it so now if I right click, you can see end task. Very amazing tool. So let's exit that one. Now, I have Sapphire OS. I'm gonna make a video about it. You can copy it if you want, just try this one out. I have the ultra light version. I do know that a lot of things are missing, uh, but yeah, you can eventually top that off and make it work <laughs> just like I did. I mean, my PC is a lot faster than it was Right here, you can see I am running as the file's name, Sapphire OS. So I'm trying it out for you guys, and it works pretty well. It's a very fast system. With pretty low CPU usages, I mean, I'm literally recording right now. And I have a lot of things open, only 19%. Well, it's of course going to drop if I don't touch it. So I really like this custom Windows 11 OS. We of course have the Windows 11 Standard Edition English and the Netherlands, so of course Dutch. Uh, I need this for my repairs in Holland itself. Right here, I have programs, and this is a little bit depending if it's legal or not. Of course, yeah, sort of. I mean, Malwarebytes, I can activate a license that pretty much will run ever, forever. And right here we have Mass. I recommend you check this one out. Um, yeah, because Mass is very useful, I just showed you. There you go. I'm not going to talk about it, but Hiram's Boot. My favorite probably of all of them. You can easily get it if you type Hiram's Boot. Go to Boot CD. And on this website, you can go to Download. There you go, left above. Scroll all the way down. And right here, you can get the ISO and start that one up. Well, what is Hiram's Boot? Come on, look at that list here of apps we can use. Removable hard disk utilities, uh, security finders, password finders. If you forgot your password, you can easily get it back. Partition, um, whatever you pretty much need. Network, you can easily uh, try buddy, uh, server things, everything you need on the USB stick. It just runs as Windows 11, very light on your USB stick. I love it. But yeah, that's not everything. I also have Linux and I have Kali Linux and I have Linux Mint. I do recommend Linux Mint above Ubuntu and it's because it has less tracking from uh, Ubuntu themselves. Ubuntu do work with Microsoft and all. That means that they do own a little bit of your data, uh, you know, rules. And Linux Mint is also Debian based, which means you can get all the same repositories, all the same apps, whatever. It's working just the same and that's the reason why I prefer it. 
And yeah, Kali Linux, I'm trying out new things, you know. Right here, I also have more files. I have files from a USB, which I don't have on it. For, exa for example, so Noma, um, which is of course macOS. I'm running macOS in a VMware Workstation Pro right here. I can easily start it up and then I have macOS running. So I can make tutorials that in that uh, on the future, which is pretty good. And of course, Windows 10, well, yeah, very simple. You quite need it if someone prefers Windows 10 above 11. Well, I do say it does have more performance, but with this custom OS, it's not comparable. It's this one is way faster. I know I talk pretty fast. You can always rewatch the whole video, but this time I'm not wasting your time. By the way, to get a Ventor USB stick, you have to follow the steps in my other video, which you can find with continue watching, which I very smartly implemented. There you go. Description template right here above you can see continue watching and then that video being prepared is one of the most important things there is so therefore come my find my usb stick yeah i went to the back rooms probably oh it's in my system it was in my computer that yeah you have everything on one usb stick don't waste your time making out one usb stick for windows only while you can easily run everything at once at the same speed and all you need you know usb stick that does everything make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out our promotions we are doing our best you know improving learning everything like that producing as much videos as we can while still maintaining high quality a little bit i'm still working on getting a new camera video camera and all yeah steps i'll see you in the next one and to thank you so much for watching goodbye